you're watching the ugly inside subscribe below welcome back to our end of season reviews and to finish our, our series our Irish talisman Shane Long perhaps not given enough opportunity in the squad and not taking I'm not scoring enough goals but joined by the lads from Red Stripes and Dan fan cams <laughs> Shane Long where, where do we start I mean he's, he offers so much to squad but he's, he doesn't give us a returning goals it's it's it, his consistency comes in blocks, doesn't it? You know, last season he had a, 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 a little run where he was getting a goal. He's been quite effective for us in cup games, like last minute like winners in the injury time and whatnot this season. But no consistency, and then Claus dropped him out of the squad for right. a period. You know, he's only coming on. He, you know, he's, his confidence is going. You know, you felt that at the start of the season. I mean, he just needs game time. Had a game. feeling that maybe. Koeman just had an explanation for why he wouldn't play every game, but made him feel part of, of, of a bigger picture. And I kind of feel that maybe Claude don't really speak to him at all. That's just from the, the output of the player. Do you, do you know what I mean? It, it feels like he's been isolated in the training rounds. Well, we don't know what goes on in the training round, do we? But all, what we do know is he did have a run in the team when we had all the injuries until Gabby Dini came in. Um, I think people forget he's never been a big goal scoring striker. He's been a workhorse, as we've said about other players. He works for you. He'll run. He'll chase everything down. We've seen a few good goals from him. I mean, goal of the season for me, I do not know how it was even a contender, was the goal up at Liverpool. Obviously, the build up to that and then the finish from that and what it meant. But um, he's a runner. He's the, what is he, the recorded the fastest speed in the Premier League this season. So uh, there's no doubt about that. Still, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, pushing 31. Yeah. Pushing 31. So um, he offers that pace. He's a he's a defender's worst yes. nightmare. He'll run at them. But, it's all about the crack. But it is at the end of it. Can he score? And he's missed too many this season. He's never been prolific. But we got a comment coming from Adrian from the Fresh Saints. Now our final player is Shane Long with his fantastic end to the season last year. I was expecting a damn sight more from him this year. And whilst yes, Puel expects more technical qualities from his forwards, a player with the physical attributes of Long needs to be doing more in the box. And I certainly expected him to grab more goals this season. Bottom line there, really scored 12 goals last season. And Aidan expects more from Shane. And perhaps there's a relationship breakdown like you touched upon there with Claude and Shane. <laughs> a bit of a breakdown there as well. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, we've seen it quite a few times this season. I'm really with the rotation. Shane Long will score a goal. Next game, he's not playing. Jay Rodriguez will score a goal. Next game, he's not playing. I think if Stryker scores a goal, he wants to be in that team next game. And yeah. I think um, that hasn't helped him too much there. But, uh, yeah. It, it's been like that with the rest of the players, like Classy and Rodriguez, as you said, scoring goals, doing well in the previous games, but never giving that good run of form in the, in the next game. Yeah, I mean, put yourself in the player's shoes, you know, if you get you score a goal, you expect to be in the next yeah. game. Don't be as simple as that. It doesn't matter about the rotation or anything like that. Gabby Adini gets a couple of goals. He's, in a, he's got a run, you know. And we're, you know, we've talked about tiredness and all that. Obviously, there's fatigue in there, but if the player's not playing, they play one game, Obviously, match fitness is that at the end of it. It's still going to be quite fresh, and if you want to play, you're going to play. Look at, you know, players play all with injuries quite often. Um, obviously, if there is someone in a better physical condition, you will play them. But if a player has just scored, a striker has scored in the previous game, play it. One final comment coming in from Jake from the St. Mary's Musings. Long last season, especially in the second half of the season under Koeman, um, looked great. Uh, I think Kuman was a little more direct um, in his play, a lot of longer balls over the top through the middle um, rather than using wingers and I think Long really benefited from that running in behind the defence and his move movement was great and he didn't score a whole, whole load of goals but he definitely had a hand in uh, more than he didn't and um, yeah, he's not had the playing time this season and uh, when he has been given the chance um, he hasn't really impressed all that much, although I will forever love him for putting in that last minute winner uh, away at Liverpool uh, in the League Cup semi-final second leg. Um, I was at Anfield and uh, I've still got a scar on the back of my leg from jumping up and down and uh, grazing it against uh, the seat behind me. So uh, that'll be a memory that will never 
yeah, believe me. Despite his enthusiasm, he's still got a scarf now, Shane Long Cole, in the, in the semi-final. And as you mentioned there, that Koeman played a lot, a lot of direct football, but it doesn't hasn't suited that Shane this season. It's when you look back to Leicester last season, direct football on the counter, on the break, Barney Mares, fast players. Shane Long's a fast player, not necessarily with a finishing touch, but obviously Claude's a lot more patient. I agree with that. And um, one thing I need to take from this as well, Shane Long's season uh, has been you know, there was a relation, there was a, a breakdown in communication with him yeah. when he when he he went onto the pitch as a substitute. They got replaced 15, 20 minutes later because he pulled up with a, a slight tweak, but then he wasn't completely injured. He threw away his bib and went straight down the tunnel. Like we said about obviously uh, players play on injured, and <laughs> everyone was puzzled like what's going on here because uh, he didn't look injured. So. Uh, Right then, in summary then, for the final time of the series, Shane Long season out of 10. Six. Six. Enjoy your move to Reading. <laughs> yeah, six. Well, no, I'll give him a 6.5 because he got the goal at hand. In Ireland, better. Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> for in a, yeah, in an Ireland show, yeah. 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 Like, like Tanis plays at international level and, and impresses there, but I think I'll go for a six for Shane Long. But we'll always remember that goal. That, as Dan said, it should have been goal of the year. That was a low. Yeah, if we won that cup, that would have been yeah. the moment. Yeah. A nine and ten out for, for nine out of ten for that. Coulda woulda shoulda. Coulda woulda shoulda. Mm. If some butts good, that had a good rhythm. That did. Yeah. That could be the song next season. <laughs> yeah. We won't put you through that. What <laughs> to, to watch? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching the end of end of season reviews. Leave us your likes, your comments and subscribe for more.